Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Tarot by Kathy McLeland. Uh, there's a website for Kathy if you're interested. Feel free to freeze frame if you need to, of course. Supportive oracle cards are Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. The website I have for Sandra, a bunch of Hay House websites. And here are all the websites on the inside of this book. Feel free to check those out if you want to. Free frame on that too, of course, if you need to. Also, there's a Hay House radio in the back here if that, you know, tickles your fancy. And there's a picture of Sandra. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. What do we have <laughs> for Gemini? Why am I like, like, what, what's up? What are we dealing with here, y'all? What are we dealing with? Dude, that's a great card for you. Is this good or not? Are you nervous? Why are we nervous? What are we nervous about? How come it's like 50 million questions with no answers? How about that, too? Why do we got all that going on? Oh, uh, okay. I think I'm already seeing what it, somebody doesn't believe in you. That's the problem. Um, all of this is there too. Victory, journey, and family. These, this is what we want. This is where you need to be. But is it where you currently are? Victory. Maybe the victory, journey, family. Like that seems like a progression. Um. Which is like starting out with the first part of your victory is realizing that people around you aren't treating you like you need to be treated. Okay. Even when you come forward with your strength and you give great, like, Gemini is a very, I think of them as very complicated and very simple. Maybe that's because I have some Gemini going on. Um, like, you can, you can see things at multiple angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can simplify it. When you know who you're talking to, you can figure out what they need to hear to make your point. It may be a little frustrating. Say, so maybe that's how I should have said that. You can take the complicated and make it simple if you decide you want to. Depends on the reason. Depends who you're dealing with. It may take you a moment to really feel somebody out, kind of like, oh, okay, that's how they work. Um... Because I feel like you're dealing with an earth energy here. Doesn't doesn't have to be. But it's somebody like they have their own way of doing things, they see it this way, and this is the only way they see it. And you can kind of get into that, figure out how they're where they're going with it, what needs to be said, and just kinda kind of, alright, I know the terms I need to do to make my point. And when you want to, you can explain something when you want to. Um I think that is something that Gemini doesn't use very often, but definitely can do. I don't know why you guys don't use that very often. I think because it's frustrating. It's very limiting to try to relate to somebody on their terms, especially when you have so much else going on. You can definitely do it, but I feel like Gemini doesn't like to do it. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, because I feel like it's it's frustrating and it's annoying. You can do it, but it's just kind of like, gee. It's kind of like it's annoying. I think that's what it is. It's just annoying. To be so linear, you hate it. I, let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, but you can definitely do that. The thing is, I think you have gone out of your way to do this with somebody. Because I see like you made your point. I feel like you've made your point and they didn't like it. Because you can relate to them on their level and you can make your point when you need to. And I don't feel like Gemini usually likes to do it. But if you do do it, there's with reason. Like, all right, if I'm going to do this, I just feel like when I see Gemini doing this, every time I see this version of you guys doing this, it's kind of like, it's so boring. It's kind of like, what a boring way to live. Like, <laughs> it's like, I don't like doing that. I like to have a free thought, free open way of expressing myself. And then I have to get so confined just so this person can deal with me. It's annoying. Um, but you did it for somebody and they didn't like it. It's not that they didn't like that you wanted your way for them. They didn't like that you had a point. But they're also deciding that you don't usually have anything good to say. Somebody is just not valuing you. 
They're just not. I keep seeing this over here, and it's annoying the hell out of me. Um, you do have great benefit, but they just don't. They don't. They just don't want to see the value of it. They just don't want to value you. I don't know. This kind of reminds me, and I've come across this a few times in my life, where you do have a lot of great value, but people have this thing where they feel better about themselves if they can believe they're better than you. Um, I'm not so bad if I'm better than that one, or if I'm better than the Pisces, or if I'm better than the Gemini, or I'm just using those generic terms. I feel like this, ha I think this happens to Gemini. Um, you come across these people that they like to view you as less than. I could be wrong, everybody's different, but... And then that's basically, they want to keep you as less than. So they just don't want to value your opinion. You have a lot of abundance with you, but they just don't want to see it. I'm getting the five of swords like they don't want to see it. This is like the fruitless win. Kind of like, oh, maybe you had a point this time, but pff, that's it. It's not that you don't have it. It's just they don't want to, they don't want to acknowledge it. I really think that's what's going on here. I'll see in the comments. Y'all will tell me. I'm sure you will. Um... What what is what is that? You got the tower card here, but it it's in the like is it gonna happen question. Like, are we gonna have a tower moment? Are you worried about it, or do you have the power to create it? That might be the thing. Maybe somebody's gonna yeah. You got the moon card with it. I just I was just talking about Pisces. The moon card talks about Pisces, and then you got the um, ten of Pentacles. Somebody might think you're more bonded to something than you actually are. And you're not really sure if you, how much longer you can stand this. Um, doesn't mean you're going to walk away, but you're connected with your own power, Like, but you can, and you know you can. Again, Gemini is the one who will find a million and two ways for... Uh, uh, one plus one, you'll find a million and two ways to look at that. What if it's 1.3 plus 1.4? Is it still two, or is it closer to three? What do we think? Like, you're that one. <laughs> like... There's more to this. It's kind of like looking at one plus one doesn't always equal two because there could be something after it. Or, you know, is it one squared? But one squared is still one. Okay, never mind. But you get my point. Um, you can see the, like, you're kind of like looking in deeper. Like, there's more to this than people see, and you can see other ways to do things. If you want out, you can get out. You'll find it. You'll find it if you want it. Um, if you decide, it's, especially when you acknowledge that it has to be there of the, the expanse of the universe, there's always a way. It's just being open to the way and finding it. Um, I think you're going into a, you're going into a period where you're really putting in some serious consideration. Because I see you doing research on what am I gonna do with this? Is it time for me to go away? I'm not sure. Patience is like, let this kind of change to your benefit. Um, time is on your side here, but it's it might be one of those things where, all right, you're around some energy here, and this energy is not honoring you is what I'm getting. If this reading is hit or hitting, this energy is not honoring you. We definitely don't want to leave this to go to something similar. That's not going to work. So I think it's time to kind of like get to know this energy a little bit better. And Is it them, or is it possible... Has this relationship developed in a certain way where you didn't really want them to take you seriously at certain times and maybe they got a little bit too comfortable with that and they decided that they just weren't ever going to take you seriously? I feel like Gemini plays that game too. Like, you know, when you have something to say, you'll come forward when you want to. But most of the time, you just want to be kind of left alone. You don't want people looking to you for answers. You just want to be a part of the research. It's That's the fun part for you. Um... Was there a way that you allowed them to treat you in the past that brought you where you are now? Which is not blaming anybody. <clears throat> I don't think it's like a blame thing, but kind of like, you know, it's kind of like when somebody treats you badly in the past and you you just didn't say anything because it didn't mean much to you. But then when you look back, it's like, yeah, and then they grew on that and they just took that way too far and they just ran with it. Before you know, they just treated me like I didn't have any value. I feel like this is better for like, you know, when you, I, I can look at relationships with people when I get connected with people myself, like I'm a Pisces, but still, they maybe don't have the best demeanor, the best way of talking to me, or they're just not as, you know, respectful as they should be, in my opinion. And I just fear, eh, it's not that big of a deal, and I don't say anything. Then over time, it just gets worse, because I didn't say anything in the beginning. Um, doesn't mean that it was right for them to do that,
but it was easier for me to say something in the beginning rather than to say something later. And then when that, de that relationship developed to a point where it just didn't work anymore, I kind of looked back and kind of like, wonder if I handled that differently, if I could have gone better. Um, <clears throat> or is this a situation where seeing them for who they were, were in the beginning and there was no fixing it, but maybe you shouldn't have tolerated it in a different way. Kind of like maybe I should have distanced myself from this or I should have guarded myself differently. Because when we look back on these things, we can only empower ourselves. We can't change other people. Um, which I don't think is victim blaming. So if it comes across that way, I don't mean it to because I've, I've gone through these things myself. But it's kind of like looking back and being empowered kind of like before I go into the next situation, feeling empowered like I don't want this to happen to me again. So how do I make sure this doesn't happen to me again? What can I do to protect myself or change how I handle things so things are more beneficial for me? Because I just feel like waiting for other people to do the right thing is going to just you're going to you're going to die a skeleton. You're just going to. You can sit there and wait your whole life away and you'll just be a skeleton waiting for somebody else to do the right thing. You're the only one who has control of your life. And that's the best way I can think of to make that happen more to your benefit. Because there's a lot of good things, a lot of great things here for you. I think that um, I think that's the way to do it. But there's a lot of different things. It's like I'm not, like, you know, just do what you got to do with it. Um, I'm, I'm very about very much about self-empowerment and like you having control of your life and deciding where you need to go and where you want to be because at some point i do feel like whatever this is whoever this isn't whoever this is that's not valuing you you're going to have enough and you're going to leave them you're going to walk away from this situation be it business personal even if it's a friendship i've had friendships where i've done that myself um it's just not working anymore and you just kind of like hey it's this isn't working and uh you just go your separate ways, and that's it. Um, you don't even have to explain why. It's it's funny. With this relationship, I don't think they... If this is really hitting the way I think it's hitting, when you walk away, I don't think you have to explain anything. I don't think they care. Um, I just, I'm not feeling it. So maybe you will, maybe you won't. Take it with a grain of salt. Of course, it's a general read. You know, keep it out there. Because you got better things coming, but it's kind of like... I feel like what they're saying is like, you know what's not working. You know it's not working. How do we go into the next situation and get used to that great success with better value and set it up so that you're in control and you're like, before things go away that I don't want them to, either choose something that's more respectful for me, you know, respectful for the Gemini as you, or maybe there's a little bit of, you know, maintenance I got to do in the beginning and I make sure people only talk to me in a respectful manner. I don't allow this. I don't allow that. And if they don't like that, I need to dismiss myself and make that a point in the beginning. Um, I, I really do feel like waiting for other people to do the right thing. I just feel like you're going to wait your life away. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's not how life is built here. Um, but that's up to you. It's like just do definitely be careful not to victim blame yourself or do any guilt type of thing. Guilt in victimizing yourself is not going to empower you. Hopefully you can look at it back like, yeah, that happened. No, I don't like it. Didn't leave me where I wanted to be. So now I'm going to get something even better because I learned from it. See it as a learning thing. I think all of us go through this where we just have to go through life and we have to learn. You didn't know beforehand. You have to live through it to know better. It's just how it is. It's how we all, it's how we all grow. Is there anything else with this? All right. So I feel like they're saying, yeah, this is looking like it's coming to an end sometime soon. But the thing is, we want to empower you to literally get something better. But the power is all in your hands. And this, if you see it in this direction and you're kind of like, all right, let me look back on this. Let me deal with this person a little bit longer and see where did this come from? How did this start? When did I start tolerating this? And when should I have stopped tolerating this? So that way we go into the next one. We're not repeating into the same cycle. We're definitely upgrading quite dramatically. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you take a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested, interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.